everyone, Ben here. Welcome back to another Beard Guys World of Tanks console video. Today we are on Xbox One and we are back in the Amex Chaffee. Yes, it is another light tank replay. <laughs> I apologise, but I've got some good ones for you. So I saved uh, these. We actually got three replays for you today. Three replays all in one video because these were the final three games on my grind for my third Mark of Excellence on my Amex Chaffee. Uh, which I unlocked and I, I saved all, all three games are pretty good in a row um, and and I was pretty hyped about it so I saved all three and I thought I'd bring them to you it gives a bit of a nice um, I think it shows nicely I guess like I know the tension of getting that last percent done on a mark of excellence it shows a bit of different gameplay and different tiers for this tank um, and hopefully some of you guys might be able to learn some tips on uh, on scrounging for damage and assisted damage when you're going for that mark of excellence, particularly in light tanks. So we started off with a, uh, a tier 10 game, which the Amex Chaffee does see as a tier 6 light tank. It, uh, I think it's pretty harsh, to be honest, considering its damage output. But, you know, that's what it is. I roll with it. Sometimes you can reap the rewards and that assist is uh, easier to get, I guess. But um, other times you just get ruined. It's pretty hard. 600 hit points doesn't go a long way at tier 10. Um, but yeah, the flip side of that is if you do manage to get teammates to actually shoot people uh, or a bunch of RT, they only really, if they killed that I7 and I got all the spotting damage on him, uh, that would basically be enough to keep my Mark of Excellence level, just that. So it can pay off, but um, it's a lot harder than you might expect to be able to churn out those uh those high assisted games unless you get really good map for it and a bit of luck doesn't often work out so um so i'm on i think i start this on about 94 percent damage standing so I'm about one percent off i think at this stage i needed about 2400 ish combined to keep it level maybe a tiny bit less than that so that's my benchmark that's what i'm aiming for um in terms of raw damage that's probably three or four clips worth of damage so we're going to need to do some spotting especially because it's tier 10 game but we are firing the odd shot and you can see here like i'll try and i'll try and explain my mindset in some of these situations a bit in these different games but i mean this one it's i think this is a i've got a very good crew on this so the camera is very good so i can play kind of quite aggressive positions like this but um it's finding that perfect balance between too much and too little especially in these tier 10 games because you just it can be so hard to pen some of them with your gun there's can be pretty hard to get damage out there and if your team wins then it's a bit easier because you can pop out end game and just find if you find one poor little medium tank with a bunch of health at the end of the game you can go and empty a clip into him um, and you might have saved your game but if your team loses there's nothing you can do so if I sat here and spotted out a bit and then suddenly our team just fell apart, I, my MOE would uh, would get ruined. So we have to keep pushing. We have to keep walking that fine, fine line uh, between too much and too little. And so we're going to push up. We've got all of our team is basically over on this side of the map. We don't have to worry too much because it's um, about getting capped, obviously, because it's team destruction. But I'm trying to push up into positions where I can out, I can spot people that my team can't, or I can get some side shots. So that's kind of my main goal. But the tricky thing at tier nine and ten is a lot of my teammates has just as good a spotting as I do, and uh, which makes it tough to spot people and get those assist points. What I've decided here is that I don't think there's anyone in the middle anymore. I saw that T49, that I7's down, the T49 left. Uh, so I'm going to push to a bush here. There we go. That's the spots I wanted. Nice side shots on these guys. New fresh spots that no one else has spotted. Oh, there we go. A 1500 point full health. I think that was full health. Pretty much full health. Yeah, it would have been on a tiger. Full health ammo rack. I think I would have got all the assisted for that. And that's a great start to the game. Plus those few other ribbons. But you never quite know because assisted can get shared uh, between players. So if more than one person spotted him then that assisted point could be shared between multiple people. So you don't guarantee that you've got that. And it's a bit of a roll of a dice until you get to the end of the game and you see what those ribbons add up to. But I feel pretty good about that one. I think that was uh, that was definitely all mine. So we're pushing around here again. Every time that I feel there's an opportunity to me to move forward just a little bit, get in a new bush, then I'm going to do it now. 
Now my mind's on artillery. I'm thinking, okay, I've got some nice assist. I've got a little bit of damage. Uh, we're going to charge in and find this arty. Again, sorry about a few little uh, hiccups on screen. I, hopefully I've resolved that issue now, but uh, this is an old old replay from before I uh, sort out my drivers. So just have to bear with it for this one, I'm afraid. There we go. There is the enemy RT. You see what I mean about the low damage output on this thing. Like, it takes me, what, five of my five hits from my clip to take out an artillery? I did 10 artillery, but still, it's very low damage output. I mean, it all adds up, but when you compare it, when I say low damage output, I'm really I'm comparing it to something like the Lycan or the Bulldog tanks that I've been using a lot that see basically the same matchmaking. I mean, this sees, you can get slightly nicer matchmaking. There's sometimes when you get a just a tier 8 game, which you wouldn't really see in, um, uh, or sorry, a tier 7 game, but, um, but yeah, it really doesn't uh, pack the punch some of those other ones do. So here we go. We've got... Uh, a kind of a kind of medium amount of damage, not great, but um, we've got hopefully enough spotting to kind of keep that even at the moment. A couple more shots, and I'm kind of getting towards my target. My target is kind of 15 ribbons, basically for this thing. Normally, that's to sort of be even or maybe a slight rise in MOE. So we've got, I mean, with those assisted, we've got 19 now. So we're look, feeling pretty good. Feeling like it's going to go up a little bit. And, uh, and now, so now the game is who's easiest for me to farm damage off without getting shot. We've got full health still, which is nice. So we can take a shot from most of these guys. Oh, there you go. He's looking at me. Side on. Lovely. You can get a couple into him, maybe. Nope, just the one. But we managed to get some assisted there as well. And see if we can finish off this T10. Oh, but there we go. There's a full health object 140. Which is just what we want to see at the end of the game. I don't really deal with this as well as I could have done, but um, every little helps. We've had a 11, 11 assists, 12 damage ribbons now. Pretty solid. There we go. Another uh, another assist ribbon there. But if we can just empty a few shots into this guy, I'll be uh, I'll be well pleased. So we go. Land one there. Missed an earlier one. Just disappointing. Missed that one. Ugh. There we go. Hit another one. Put one more in. There we go. So we've got a nice few shots into him now. We're going to have to reload. Um, <laughs> my, so uh, that was a kind of, that was a bit of a move inspired by a, a previous game I'd had. So what I was expecting my team, because he's to absolutely annihilate that guy, annihilate that guy so quickly there. Uh, and I kind of assumed that he'd be long dead before I reloaded. So I thought ram him, do a little bit extra damage. It all adds up. Uh, it didn't quite play out like that, but, but what can you do? So there we go, game one down. We got nearly 4k assisted, 2,200 damage, first class mastery, and we're up to 94.65. So very solid game. Puts us nice and close, 1,900 base. Shout out to Taki on the uh, green team. Very good player. I've seen uh, him pop up some replays on Mad Friday's channel. Uh, very impressive player. Had him on the red team a couple of times, so nice to see him on the friendly team for a change. So here we are, game number two. Now keep in mind, remember guys, these three games were three games back to back, all in one sitting. Um, I think Lamb, as Lamb seems to have a habit of doing, turning up at my house in the middle of my beast games. Um, thankfully, he has a key to let himself in, but uh, this, was, uh, this was the second one. I think he arrived at some stage during this game. So um, one of the benefits of this tank taking so many games to get my marks on was... I was starting to actually kind of figure out places I like going in light tanks. So this is one I like going to on cliff from this side. There's a lot of bushes here. You can get some nice spots on these guys. Um, it does rely on your team sending a few bodies this way, which is certainly done this time. And what I really love about this game is really this game's all about the ending. Just the last sort of minute of this game is just a beautiful example of madly trying to farm damage to uh, to grab that MOE because I'm what 0.35 away at the moment so that can probably be done with maybe three three and a half K assist I guess something like that we'll see so I'm moving out of the way here this guy's come up behind me I don't want to sit in front of him because if he gets spotted people will fire it'll hit me even though I'm not spotted so always got to watch out for that when you're in a light tank people aren't it's annoying but people don't really I don't know a lot of the time it might not occur to people so uh, I don't hold a grudge sometimes, but <laughs> but you got to stay out of those situations because you'll just get nailed, and it is really annoying when you do. 
So, um, so team's not taking the best setup. I did say I wanted some tanks to come this way. Uh, I didn't really want all of them to come this way. So I'm not feeling confident about the win at the moment. And being on the losing team normally makes it harder to, to get that damage done in this thing. Like I said, it helps a lot at the end of the game if there's isolated targets you can, uh, you can pick on. And go and empty your clip into. So there we go, we're already getting badly, badly flanked. So I decided to pull back, see if I can get some... Uh, that is a, such a bizarre looking tank, I'll never get over that. Decide to pull back a bit, I want to try and get some shots on these guys because there's nowhere else for them to go apart from to start pushing around uh, on our base. And getting side shots into the team, so I want to try and uh, get some damage on them as they do that. There's plenty of bushes around here, there's plenty of cover I can use. There we go, there's a Jackson, wonderful. Wunderbar. Go one, and he's in cover. But there we go, it's another shot, T37. Can we get a shot on you? Yeah, there we go. Bang, lovely. Two more. Oh, nearly got another one, and looks like he's done. Here we go, another guy coming in. Rushing towards our flag, get one. Missed that one. And we're spotting, we're spotted, and we're gonna reload. Although wait, I waited till I got around the corner before I reloaded, just in case a little snapshot showed its a snap shot showed itself. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Uh, in case a snapshot showed itself, nearly uh, <laughs> we could have fired off that last remaining shot. We got it reloaded. That 15 re reload, 15 second reload time, uh, isn't too painful. Oh, we go. Here's this guy. He's going for the artillery. Hopefully, uh, this guy's just gonna be pretty focused on the RT. He, he was even looking towards me then, and then turned his turret once the artillery was spotted. Um, and that's what happens when you get tunnel vision trying to go after the RT. An AMX Chaffee appears and, uh, and ruins your day. So we've got a light tank coming here. Decide to reload. I'm not going to take him down with two shots. We need a full clip for this. There go. Seven seconds to go. That'll be fine. We'll charge out. Uh, and the team's actually done quite well. Thankfully, they pushed through the valley. They didn't sit there and just get sniped to pieces or wait. They pushed through and got round to the flank. Uh, we've actually managed to... Here we go. The T-37's come for the RT. We could save you! Go on, he's burning. Look at that. What a guy. Saves the arty not once, but twice. The hero we all needed, or at least that the artillery needed. Oh, so get caught sleeping there, drive out kind of stupidly in front of the Jackson, but I'm now unspotted and I've got some shots and I'm loaded. Here we go, one more. Uh, someone else finished him off, but we've now got quite a nice amount of damage. 13 ribbons, not much spotting. Uh, as it stands, I'd say this will probably maybe keep me even. It might drop me a little bit. That's how tough this tank is to uh, to mark. I wouldn't feel confident about this staying level unless I had 15, 16 uh, damage and ribbons. I don't think those spots I got are going to be up for much. Not like the last game. So as the team sweeps in, I need to get up here and farm some damage. These two look like a likely pair to do it. We've got a lot of health on that VK. And get the side of him or the back of him. Ooh, what we got? Side of an ice three. Might as well finish him. Get the gun out of the game. Help the team. Try and track this guy. Oh, there we go. Lovely. We get a tracking and the damage. And then he gets finished off, so we get all those juicy points. Oh, and look at this. We've got a full health object. 416. Looking like there's more to be done. So 17 damage ribbons. So at this stage, right, I need, what, 0.35% to get my third mark going to be hell of a close. Every little bit of damage is going to help. Excuse me, coming through. Here we go, here's the full health, 416. We get one away, Two, second one misses, third one misses. Oh, that one goes in. One tracking, and derp that one as we hit a little ridge. There we go, we're going to reload though. Uh, he doesn't seem to really be paying any attention and is busy chasing that guy. So, not really sure why he didn't decide to just shoot me, but that is totally fine. We follow him, manage to reload, and there we go. <laughs> Managed to get another shot. Right, four shots left, two tanks left, come on. Every little bit helps. One, don't fall in the drink. One more hit. Oh, God, come on, and another one. Oh, look at that. Love it, love it. See, so easily you could have given up on that end situation and left your team to it, but we managed to get in there. We managed to get another five or six damage shots away. We managed to get another two kills. Beautiful. But we only got about three and a half thousand combined. It's not enough for that third mark. What does it put us on? 94.95.
Oh, Jesus wept. It's not what you want to see. Another 1900 base game, two back to back. Very pleased with that. And not a bad team performance either. So these are the worst games when you're on 94.9 something on your mark and you're going into another game. I was hoping for nice matchmaking. Could have done with a nice tier 7 game, but no, we've got a tier 9 game. But what I found with going for marks on light tanks, it's I found it's probably more about the map than it is the matchmaking perhaps. I guess when you have really, really nice matchmaking, it maybe doesn't matter so much what the map is. But, but a map like this, like, I don't know. I'd take a map like this on tier 10 over some over Ents gone tier 8 or 9 any day. Something open, something with long lines of sight, potential for spotting. Here we go. So Lamb stood beside me at this stage. Oh dear, decide to fire my gun, getting cocky, get spotted early, not good. <laughs> get behind that house. If I get killed now, I'm going to lose a full percent and I'm going to be a very unhappy chappy. Oh, so someone trying to blind fire the corner and the bush. So now I'm pretty nervous. I don't... Uh, I want to spot them. I don't want to see in that bush and get blind fired. So we wait a little while just to see if anyone's going to uh, fire there again. It's going to be pretty unlikely someone would fire there again, I think. Really, that'd have to be, uh, that'd be a pretty good guess, I think. Or pretty optimistic. But we're not... Not getting too much done, but we're getting a few early spots. Hoping our team might get into range of these guys soon. We're, they're a little bit far away to really be landing good hits. But um, as these guys start to move up the ridge, they're going to start to hopefully expose themselves. And um, we can start to land some shots. Or we can start to pick up some assist uh, and then hopefully land some shots later on. So just keeping calm at the moment, It's there's plenty of time left in the game. Somehow, oh yeah, I remember this, somehow this panther has got round behind our team. I think they've got another tank up there as well. But, and facing back this way. Just bizarre, a bizarre posi position to end up in and an even more bizarre direction to be facing. But uh, thankfully he farm, he gives me my first bit of damage to farm. So we get a couple of hits into him, which is great. We're looking at probably needing, I guess, 2,600 combined plus to get that last uh, 0 0.05 done. That's kind of our goal. So I guess we're looking at 15 to 20 ribbons of any kind. That should uh, that should do us, assuming we don't get really unlucky with spot ribbons. We're currently on six. So the 110 nicely in cover. We've got a lot of tanks at the castle. A pretty not bad little distribution of tanks going on at the moment. Sadly, uh, not as many TDs I'd like. We do have a lot of arty though, which is nice for her light tanks for getting that assist. Here we go, come on, mate, come on, mate. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. There we go. One more. Here we go. Stay there. Ah, oh, he's done. He's done. But we do manage to get a couple of shots away. Oh, where are you going? You go forward again. There we go. One more as well. And he goes down. So we're right now up to 10 combined ribbons. Pretty pretty solid. Pretty happy with that. It's a pretty early game. It's getting... We need to... I guess you need to get to probably... <laughs> if I can get up to like 10 damage ribbons. Okay, so now I'm right. There's an ISU... Uh, sorry, an SU-152. He could probably one-shot me if he's got the big gun. Um, I'm exposed to people on that ridge shooting at me. Who knows what that shell firing was. But there's a lot coming in. <laughs> Just trying to get somewhere safe at the moment in cover. There we go. We find a little house. Um, oh, it's not the best cover in the world. Oh, God. Here we go. Something more solid. A big pile of crap. So just chilling out again. We got lucky and actually picked up an assist on the uh, SU there. Hopefully a, um, it looked like it could have been a reasonable sized one. So that will help our cause. Things are looking uh, reasonably peachy at the moment. We have got APCR loaded because I'm on 94.95% and what the hell else are you going to do? Here we go, STI might get shot to the side. Nope. ST1 rather. Play it safe. Get unspotted. Don't just poke my nose out where I came from. I've done that enough times and paid the price.
And here we go. Okay, so decide to reposition. It's getting a bit hairy in the middle there. So I want to kind of just jig around, see what's going on. See if I can get some uh, different angles on these guys. Maybe get some shots into this Oho. Also on my mind at the moment is their artillery. Because I'm at the stage now where if I can empty a full clip into their arty, that's going to put me on pretty good position. I wouldn't mind getting maybe three more... Three, two or three more ribbons away. Go over the 10 damage ribbon and then go and empty a clip into the RT. Uh, and that will do me. But unfortunately, they do still have a couple of tanks over here that I need to look out for. Here we go. It's a nice soft target. We should be able to get some damage here. There we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Cool. On full clip. Full clip. There we go. A full clip of damage. Lovely jubbly. On to 12 ribbons. So, moving over to see what's going over here. Haven't really been over this side of the battlefield too much. I'm being a little bit cautious. There was, there we go. There's that medium tank. What is he? Yeah, AMX-30. So, he's also platooned up. I think he's platooned up with, yeah, he's platooned up with the RT. And also with a couple of other heavies as well. I think they had a top tier five-man platoon in this. Um, and we, uh, I don't think we did. So, their platoon's kind of running the show. It's not looking, it's quite even team numbers-wise, but... When you've got a top tier platoon kind of strategically uh, placed around the battlefield like that, uh, you know you're going to have a pretty hard time. But I'm feeling, what I'm feeling now is I'm definitely within range of getting that three mark if I can, uh, if I can get to their RT. But also, the AMX-30 is a very dangerous tank. It's got a very nice gun. It's got very good mobility and speed. Uh, so it's going to be tricky to outmaneuver and outrun that guy. To do that, especially because those RT are his friends, uh, so he might be trying to uh, help them out more than you might otherwise do. So just thinking, just thinking, biding my time, seeing what's going on. Getting, you can see, rocking back and forth, ready to suddenly go. What I'm kind of hoping is just to let that AMX-30 push round a bit further, so he's um, it's going to be a harder harder move for him to get back and get the RT, or save the RT. There we go, spotted him out. Just trying to get into cover. Ooh. See if we can get a shot on him. Nope. So still a lot of enemies left. I'm feeling like our team's probably going to lose at this stage, uh, and it's trying to work out what to do really I think one option would have been going back to that middle ridge and trying to snipe some damage from there but if you do that you might I might only be able to get two or three shots away before they rush in they've got a lot of heavily armored tanks tanks with good guns uh, it's gonna be pretty tough for me to do that frontally so RT feels like a really good option at the moment Ooh, might get there we go sneaky little one shot into the side and a nice bit of assist there although that might have been split with someone else there's a few of us around here so just look and see if that guy's still there, see if we can get another shot. Mm. Oh, yep, there he is. Anything. Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. And, yeah, don't know what the, where they were going. Hitting something or other, but we are... We are spotted, we decide to reload. A bit worried that AMX-30 at the moment. I know he's back there somewhere. He's, you'd think he'd probably be trying to look for a shot on me. Oh, there we go, he just killed the, uh, the 5120 next to me. And now I'm thinking, okay, we've definitely lost. This is definitely, uh, this is arty time. Just trying to work out who spotted me there. So it's that SD1 coming through the middle. Get unspotted. Okay, we're going. We're going for it, boys. We've got 13 ribbons, 6 assist, 19 total. Let's go. Oh, God, he's pretty close. He's pretty close. Okay, missed one shot. Fine, excellent. We can probably eat, what, two hits from him is going to kill us. There we go. Let's start landing some shots on him. He's actually pretty weakly armoured, and that's where we get lucky. He hits the uh, bridge. He's not been doing enough racing on Beard Guy's streams to practice his cornering onto those bridges. Uh, we actually managed to land, what, three or four shots into him. Find the RT. Start reloading. <laughs> and, okay, so I reckon I've got this third MOE at the moment, but what can we do to these guys? We might as well empty as much as we can into them. End up kind of fluffing up a little bit, but we do manage to farm. 
uh, a pretty respectable amount of damage. There we go. Get him out of the game. Learn it's him. And then, oh, accidentally hit my stick and stop driving and then get blown up. But looks like we did enough. 2,741. So that gave us about 3,500 combined. There is the third mark of excellence. Actually, we're up to 95.2 in the end. So we went up, what, 0.55, something like that from that game. So, yeah, pretty solid. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. I know it's been a lot of light tank games recently, but, you know, that's fun. It's a fun moment for me. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. So, yeah, you know, let me know if you enjoyed it. Give it a like. Anyway, all right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. My name's Ben. Well, we are the Beard Guys, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.